Today we're looking at the good, bad, and ugly in artificial intelligence. And stick around to the end when we look at the future of autonomous driving. Why Elon Musk wants to sue chat GPT, and how Apple is using AI to create its very own autonomous driving car. Many major car companies have already started using artificial intelligence in developing their cars. Take GM's Dreamcatcher system for example. This system is used in the first step of vehicle design to come up with more efficient and better performing designs. For example, Dreamcatcher was able to design a single piece seat belt bracket that was 40% lighter and 20% stronger than the older conventional 8 component design. That's just one example. Artificial intelligence goes beyond the car industry. Alexa, what am I holding? It looks like cream of mushroom condensed soup. It's already pervasive in everyday life, behind the visual and speech recognition systems, language translations, and even decision-making processes. So what's the difference between AI and your regular old software? Well, regular software is designed to perform specific tasks according to a predetermined set of instructions. AI systems, on the other hand, are designed to learn and adapt based on new data and experiences. This makes it easier for AI to handle more complex and dynamic situations because it's constantly adapting. But don't get me wrong, there are lots of challenges and limitations when it comes to AI. For example, AI systems require large amounts of data to learn from, and all that data isn't always easy to obtain. Also, sometimes AI systems can produce unexpected results or errors. So ultimately, someone has to go in, debug, and fix the system, which requires time and resources. How helpful or harmful AI can be really depends on how someone uses and implements it. Just look at the car industry, for example. AI could potentially help improve the performance and efficiency of EVs by optimizing battery usage, predicting traffic patterns, and so forth. But for an AI system to make a significant difference, it really boils down to the quality and quantity of data available, the reliability of the hardware and sensors involved, and the accuracy of the algorithms used themselves. Right now, a common reason that's keeping people away from EVs today is range anxiety. I'm talking about the fear that your EV will run out of battery and range in the middle of nowhere, leaving you stranded. But AI can optimize battery usage by analyzing driving patterns and conditions. This helps the system determine the most efficient use of the battery. In the same way, AI optimizes the energy usage of systems like heating and cooling, navigation and lighting. This also helps to minimize energy consumption and maximize the vehicle's range. Another advantage to AI is it can help predict when EV components might fail. That could lead to more proactive maintenance, higher vehicle reliability, and longer car life. AI can also analyze driver behavior and preferences, and then personalize the driving experience and improve overall driver satisfaction while you're in the vehicle. AI plays a huge part in autonomous driving. Autonomous driving relies on a combination of algorithms, sensors, and machine learning to make decisions and control a vehicle. An autonomous car identifies objects in the environment like pedestrians, cyclists, and other cars. It does this using sensors such as cameras, LiDAR, and radar. It analyzes the data and makes instant real-time decisions based on factors like speed, distance, and road conditions. This also applies to unexpected situations like road work or last-minute road closures. Because of this, AI can have a major impact impact on improving safety in an autonomous driving vehicle. AI can make decisions for the vehicle to avoid potential hazards or dangerous situations. Did you know that some AI systems have computing powers of up to 1 quadrillion calculations per second? To put that in perspective, the human brain is estimated to be capable of 1 trillion calculations per second. There's an extremely advanced AI engine where you can type in almost any question and you get a very detailed answer. I'm talking about chat GBT. Just try asking the question, how can I make more money? You can even ask it to write a short story or script in the style of your favorite author or director. Or try typing a specific problem you have with your car and the program will tell you detailed step-by-step -step instructions on how to fix it yourself. Now, of course, nothing is like a real life mechanic, but programs like these are getting so advanced, who knows how it could affect the mechanic industry one day. AI can also have a major impact on how autonomous cars of the future will look like. Companies are working on cars as we speak that use brain-computer interface technology. Now that might sound like science fiction, but it's not. These systems can literally read your mind, or rather the brain waves coming out of it, to therefore control a vehicle. Just imagine how much the interior of a car will change when all you really need to drive a car is an AI system in your brain. Last but not least, if you've ever driven in an autonomous vehicle, you know that the vehicle plans its route based on real-time traffic conditions, road closures, and other factors. It uses all that data to predict congestion and give you the best route option. 
But I like to tell it as it is. And the truth is that AI can make some serious mistakes when it comes to autonomous driving. Sometimes it has even cost someone their life. Autonomous driving technology uses sensor data and other inputs. It relies on complex algorithms to make decisions. Of course, these algorithms are designed to be highly accurate and reliable. But the thing is, these algorithms are designed by imperfect people. So there's always the potential for imperfections like errors or unforeseen circumstances that an AI system might not be able to handle. For example, imagine this scenario. Say you're sitting back in your autonomous driving EV. You think the system and the AI behind it is working fine. Your EV is relying on sensors such as cameras, LiDAR, and radar to detect and identify objects in the environment. Well, what you and the EV don't realize is that the bug in the system has caused the sensors to malfunction or provide inaccurate data. So then the AI might not see an object on the road. And by the time you realize it, it might be too late. Or maybe your autonomous EV does see an obstacle. Let's say it's a pedestrian crossing the road or a fallen tree that's blocking the path. There's still a possibility that the AI system might not be able to correctly identify or respond to these obstacles appropriately. And of course, we can't forget weather conditions and road construction. These factors can negatively affect the performance of autonomous driving technology. In a heavy thunderstorm, for example, an AI system might not be able to adapt to these conditions or make the correct decisions in response to them as fast as a real-time human driver could. And of course, even if an AI system isn't encountering environmental factors or obstacles, something as simple as a software bug can cause autonomous driving technology to glitch and behave unexpectedly, sometimes even dangerously. Lastly, there's the aspect of moral dilemma. After all, technology is technology. The decisions we make every day and on the road are largely affected by our emotions. But technology doesn't have emotions, at least not that I know of. So for example, say you're driving on a street in the city. There are pedestrians walking parallel to the street on your right. On your left are other cars that are driving in the same direction. But suddenly, coming head on straight towards you is a truck. How does AI choose what to do? How does an AI system choose between hitting a truck, veering to the left, but striking other cars or veering to the right? and killing the pedestrians. So you can see there's a lot of potential risk when you leave the decision making to artificial intelligence. Engineers and researchers are continuously working to improve the accuracy and reliability of AI algorithms to minimize those risks. As well, engineers and researchers are also developing redundancy and fail-safe systems like a plan B just to make sure the vehicle will respond appropriately in the event of an error or catastrophic failure. They also test AI by using virtual simulations. And these simulations, engineers create as many extremely dangerous situations as possible to see how the vehicle reacts. But of course, no matter how many researchers or engineers are on a team, no technology can be 100% error free. That means there will always be a degree of risk associated with autonomous driving. Now let's talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly of AI. Let's start with the good. AI can make many jobs more efficient, and not just in the car industry. Computer programming, writing, data analysis, all these jobs can be made easier with an AI system. But all that course comes with a trade-off. AI can make certain jobs so easy it will replace human workers altogether. Who needs to pay a writer thousands of dollars when AI can analyze an author's writing style and write an article or book by itself? It gets worse, scarier even. AI can also be used to promote government propaganda. But take social media, for example. Think about skewed media, fake news, misinformation, and government propaganda. And the average Joe doesn't even realize it. In the meantime, the AI collects data on how long a certain image will be viewed by you, video or article, and what you will click on. It uses data from your behavior to feed more content than it knows you already like. Now, look, I'm not a paranoid person with conspiracy theories. This is real. So real, in fact, that many countries and even the European Union are trying to find ways to regulate AI. By the way, did you know that Elon Musk said he wanted to sue ChatGBT? The reason comes down to how ChatGBT scans data from Twitter and learns from it. Last April, Microsoft said it would drop Twitter from its advertising platform. After the announcement, Musk tweeted, They trained illegally using Twitter data. Lawsuit time! And it's not just Elon Musk. In fact, many data owners and content creators are trying to stop programs like ChatGBT from allowing the public to take or use their content for free without paying any royalty. Funny thing is Elon Musk used to own OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT, but Musk stepped back from the position as CEO in February 2018. And this past February, Musk tweeted that he created an OpenAI as open source to serve as a counterweight to Google. But since then, it has become a closed source, maximum profit company that was effectively controlled by Microsoft. Musk added that it was not what he intended at all. 
Here's the interesting thing. Around the same time, Musk tweeted that one of the biggest risks to the future of civilization is AI. He explained that it's both positive and negative, with great promise and great capability. But with that comes danger. I tend to agree. By the way, Apple is designing an autonomous vehicle. Back in 2014, rumors started circulating that Apple had begun working on a project called Titan. Apparently, over 1,000 car experts and engineers were developing an EV with limited self-driving capabilities at a secret location near Apple's Cooper Tino headquarters. But it's been almost 10 years since and I haven't seen any Project Titan cars on any roads I've driven on. Well, there's a reason for that. Turns out, the Apple car project has shifted and changed multiple times over the years, mainly because of internal issues. By 2016, rumors began circulating that Apple had shelved the project for good. But four years later, in 2020, the project was apparently back on. Finally, last year, we learned that Apple's plan for a fully autonomous vehicle wasn't going to happen. Right now, the current understanding is that Apple is working on a semi-autonomous, self-driving system that will be able to drive on its own on highways, but will need a human to drive it manually in emergency situations situations and on city road. Now, there's no confirmation yet, but Apple is said to have had discussions with Hyundai, Nissan, and GM. But now you tell me, do you view AI as a friend or foe? How do you feel about AI-controlled autonomous vehicles? Please share by commenting below. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for your support.